Kids Bible Club! Today I want to tell you a story about a man called Nicodemus. Now Nicodemus was alive at the same time when Jesus was alive. So Nicodemus was able to actually watch Jesus and see the things that he did and hear what Jesus was saying. And Nicodemus was really curious. He was really interested. He could see that there was something very different about Jesus. And he wanted to find out what that was. He wanted to chat to Jesus. But there was a problem. You see, Nicodemus was part of a group. And this group were called the Pharisees. And he was in an even more special group within the Pharisees called the Sadducees. And Nicodemus's friends, the other uh, people within this group, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, they didn't like Jesus. And they didn't want Nicodemus to talk to Jesus. No way. In fact, they really, really didn't like Jesus and they wanted rid of him. They wanted to kill him. But Nicodemus wanted to chat to Jesus and his friends didn't want him to. So he was stuck in this problem. He thought, oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to chat to Jesus? And so he hatched a plan to go under the cover of darkness at night time. And in those times, there wouldn't have been all the big bright street lamps that we have now. So at night time, it was really, really dark. Like, do you know if you ever go out at night time, maybe into your garden or even better into a forest or a field and it's pitch black? I remember being one time in a cave. I couldn't even see the hand in front of my face. It was this close. Couldn't see a thing. Nicodemus, he headed out under the cover of darkness, hoping that no one would see him. And he went to a place called the Mount of Olives, uh, the Garden of Gethsemane, and that's where Jesus was at. And he chatted to Jesus. And you want to know what they said? Do you want to know how that conversation went? They gave him a set. Jesus, I don't understand it. I'm watching you. And the things that you're doing, the miracles that you're doing. I mean, you, you have the power of God. Where is this coming from? And Jesus said something really, really strange. We hear what Jesus said. Nicodemus, you need to be born again. What? Nicodemus scratched his head. I need to be born again? I've been born what? How could Nicodemus, and at this stage Nicodemus is quite an old man, how could he get fully grown adult, get back inside his mummy's toy? It just, he wouldn't fit. It just doesn't make any sense. I need to be born again? What? This is so strange. And when Nicodemus questioned Jesus, how can I be born again? It, it doesn't make any sense. Jesus said, Nicodemus, I'm not talking about your flesh, the things that your body is made up of, all your muscles and sinew and skin. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about your flesh, your humanness. I'm talking about your spirit. Now, this is really interesting. What is a spirit? What was Jesus talking about? You need to be born again. Well, let's pause that for a little second. And let's think about spring. Because we're in spring. I love spring because we come through dark old winter. And yeah, we have an amazing time at Christmas, don't we? When we remember Jesus' birth and we have presents and all these exciting things. But once that passes, you kind of get into January and February. And ugh, it's dark. It was so wet this year. Yeesh. And then we get to this lovely time of year that we're just getting into now. Spring. Maybe you've had an activity at school to find the signs of spring. And I love getting out and about. If you know me, you know that I like being outside more than I like being inside. And when I'm out and about at the minute, I can see so many signs of spring. If you look around at flowers at the minute, there are little crocus coming up, the little kind of purpley blue ones. And there's daffodils, you'll know them. They're the yellow ones and they're all around us here in the Arts Peninsula. And if you listen and you look, and especially if you live near a farm, you'll see lots of newborn lambs all over the place. Okay, so lambs are being born, they're bleeding, bleh, and suddenly we have all this new life. And then um, Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. Springtime we think about things being born, new lambs. You must be born again. I'm not talking about your flesh, I'm talking about your spirit. Well, our flesh, our bodies, we're born and we live our lives and at the end of our lives we die. But our spirit is not like that. Our spirit is a bit like this. It's a bit like that. Now, I don't mean a ring. I mean a circle. If I ask you a question, where's the beginning and where's the end of that circle? Where's the finish of that circle? I mean, is it here? No, you keep going round and round and oh, now we're going round again. And you just keep going round and round forever and ever and ever. It's eternal. It has no end. Circles have no end. They're a line that's joined back again. And it just... A curved line just keeps going and going and going forever. And that's a bit like our spirit. You know, we die 
our spirit lives on forever. It has no end. It's eternal. And that is what Jesus was saying to Nicodemus. Nicodemus, your spirit must be born again. You must recognize that you need me. You need Jesus. And if you invite me into your life, I will give you life eternal, life everlasting, life that never, ever ends. Your spirit needs to be born again. You need a fresh start with your spirit. You need to give your spirit and your life over to me and to live for me. And then I promise you life forever. And yeah, your life will finish on earth, but it'll go on forever in a really special place. God's home. Do you know what it's called? Yeah, heaven. And it's an amazing place, an incredible place. It's so exciting. No matter what Christian you talk to, whether they're tiny, 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 or whether they're really old, everyone gets so excited about heaven because heaven is a place where there is no more sickness, there is no more pain. And we get to meet Jesus and God in his home. Wow. And do you know what? Here's something I really like. The Bible tells us that heaven is better than what we can imagine. So do you know what? Here's your chance. Imagine it to be as good as possible because it's going to be better than that. The, the most awesome heaven you create in your mind, heaven's even better than that. It's incredible. And Jesus says that if we believe in him and if we trust in him, then he will give us eternal life. In fact, here's what it says. It's the most famous verse in the whole Bible. And it's a really good one to try and remember, trying to stuck in your brain. It says this, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Because God loved everyone in the whole world, he gave us Jesus. Okay, so for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, will not die, but will have everlasting life. Their spirit will go on forever. So let's break that down. God loves the whole world, not just me, not just you, not just your family, not just everyone in the Ars Peninsula or Bally Albert or Bally Old or even as far up as Newton Ard. No, not even just Northern Ireland or all of Ireland, the UK, the whole world, everyone, everywhere, no matter what their skin colour, no matter what language they speak, no matter when they lived, whether they've lived and died already, whether they're just born and going to live, whether they're going to be born in the future, God loves the whole world. And he loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. He gave us his son. Jesus left heaven. He came down to earth to live a perfect life for us, to die on the cross. And if we believe in him, that he died on the cross, and we ask him into our hearts, he gives us an eternal spirit. He gives us an eternal spirit that lives on in heaven. Wow. Such an exciting message. So today, ask yourself this question. Have you thought about Jesus? Because Nicodemus had to ask himself this question. What was going to happen to his spirit? Was his spirit going to live on for all eternity in heaven? Is that where it was going? Did he have Jesus in his heart? So ask yourself that question. Are you a Christian today? Do you know Jesus? Do you live for Jesus? Thank you so much for listening. Have an awesome spring. Get out and about today. See all the different signs of spring all around us. I love it. It's so good. Um, have a great Sunday. See you later. Kids Bible Club!